Getting hacked is something we all worry about, but it's a little bit like the boogeyman. You don't really know what it looks like unless it's actually climbed out from under your bed. Unfortunately, having your smart devices hacked happens a lot more often than a visit from those things that go bump in the night. To help take the idea of being hacked from a scary bedtime story and make it into an actionable threat that we can fight, we're going to unmask the monster. In this video, we'll talk about four telltale signs that your smart gadgets have been hacked and give you some resources to keep the hackers at bay. But before we reveal the four signs that mean you've been hacked, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to get all the security news that's fit to film posted at least two times every week. And check out our tips for making your smart home hacker proof on safewise.com. You can use the handy link down in the description box. One thing that usually comes with all smart devices is an indicator light that lets you know if the device is in use, if it's in resting mode, if it's been turned off, or if it's gone offline. These lights can also let you know that a stranger has gotten in. The most obvious lights are on security cameras and like webcams on your PC and laptop. Those lights should only be on when your camera is in use. This is such an obvious tell that it's crazy hackers still break into camera feeds, but they do. If you notice a light that shouldn't be on, check into it right away and go ahead, if you haven't already, and slap some tape. Sometimes I've even used like half a Band-Aid over that camera lens to make sure you stop the hacker from getting any more looks at you and yours. One time I had a webcam light on that shouldn't have been. And after checking out all of my settings, I figured out that I never closed FaceTime after a chat with my bestie. But if you can't find a simple way to turn off the camera, there's a good chance you've been hacked. Other suspicious lights to look out for include the listening ring of light on the Amazon Echo devices and those listening dots on Google Home speakers. There have been a lot of headlines in the past couple of years about creepy noises coming out of security cameras and even baby monitors. Sometimes it's just random, unusual noises, but more often than not, it's a hacker talking directly to someone in the home. And sadly, it's usually a kid that the hacker engages. If you hear anything strange, and we mean anything, or notice a child having a conversation with a smart home device and it answers back, you've probably been hacked. This can be harder to detect than disembodied voices and mysterious lights, but it's just as important to watch out for. The easiest change to spot is a new password. If your password all of a sudden stops working and no one with approved access to the account changed it, you've probably been hacked. But some changes are a little more in your face. It could be a tweak to the thermostat. Are you suddenly frozen out or sweltering hot? Or do you have a smart light bulb that's gone from a mellow soft white into a flashing red that gives you nightmares? If your home starts feeling like midnight at a disco, you just might be hacked. Sometimes a hacker's calling card is left behind in the account activity on your smart device, mobile app, or home network. Extra data usage is one of the best indicators that something fishy is going on. You can check in on your home network and smart devices to see how much data is being transmitted. A sudden spike is a good indicator that an uninvited guest is in the house, or at least in your house's Wi-Fi network. Another thing to check is the login history on your devices. Many smart home apps let you see who's logged into the account and when they gained access. If you see someone you don't recognize or dates that don't make sense, you might have a breach. So you've been hacked. Now do something about it. No one wants to be hacked, so the best defense is the proverbial ounce of prevention. Well, in fact, we've got a whole video that tells you exactly what you need to do to make your security cameras harder to hack. Plus, at safewise.com, we've got reports on the most recent security breaches, which companies and products have been most vulnerable to hacking, and what those companies are doing to stop it happening again. You can also click the link below to see how to keep hackers out of your smart home. On top of taking the right steps when you set up your smart devices, we also encourage a healthy dose of suspicion. Keep an eye out for the four signs we've talked about, take action if you see them, and don't dismiss anything that feels off or makes you go, hmm. And last, but certainly not least, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel to get access to all of the smart home security and anti-hacker insights we post at least two times every week. 
and visit safeways.com for recommendations on tools and resources to bolster your home Wi-Fi security. Until next time, stay suspicious. When it comes to hackers, it could be your best way to stay safe.